What's going on everybody, Jade Game here, and today guys, we're going to be continuing bringing LEGO sets into Minecraft. So for today, we have a pretty interesting set that you can see behind me, and it is called the LEGO Coral Reef. So similar to last time, this set is actually going to end up being pretty small, but nonetheless, it's still really interesting because of the big theme change. Um, this one is underwater, and I think that makes it super cool and super unique compared to, say, the first one that we did, and the ones you can see to the right. But without further ado, let's take a look, and let's get into building it. So similar to last time, we're actually going to break this whole thing down into segments. The first part of it is actually going to be the base, followed by all the barrier blocks, which you can see requires a lot because of the fact that it's underwater and we need to keep everything contained, followed by the final part, which of course is going to be the interior. So all like the coral, the mobs, everything like that. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this. Okay, so to begin, what we're going to need is some stone, some sand, and some barrier blocks. So to begin, what we're going to do is, is we're going to go find a corner like this right here. We're going to grab some barrier blocks, and we're going to make a 3x3 three three platform. So 1, 2, 3, by 3. Just like this. We're then going to fill that up with sand. And then we're also going to do the exact same thing over again right here in front of it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Once we have that platform built, we're once again going to go with sand. There we go. Then on the right hand side of it, we're going to grab some stone. And we're going to build another 3x3 three three platform, but this time, once again, it's going to be stone. And just like that, we have the platform built. Okay, so now that we have the platform done, what we're going to do is, is we're going to build the barrier walls. So to do this, we're going to start in the corner right here, we're going to place a block, and then go up one. What we're then going to do is, is we actually have to trace the entire thing all the way around, including the corners. Or if you do want to save some space, I guess you don't have to include the corners. We're just going to wrap it all the way around. And what we're going to do is, is we got to do this exact same thing six times. So we got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we got to fill in all the walls just like that. Once that's complete, I'll be right back. So as you can see, now I have all the walls complete. And the next thing that we're going to have to do is, is we're actually going to have to put in the water. Because if we don't put the water in before the coral, the coral is actually just going to go gray and die off. So what we got to do is, is we're going to have to grab our stone. But before you do that, you're going to want to measure where you have to build, because as soon as we take away the barrier blocks, whoop, they're gone. You can't see them anymore. So what we're going to want to do is, is we're going to want to start at the bottom, and we're going to want to count up four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then on the fourth block right here, we're going to place a block of stone, and we're going to want to fill the entire thing in, but just this level platform, because this is where we're going to be filling in the water, and we're actually going to break all these stone blocks right away once all the water's filled in. Whoops. Now that we have all that complete, what we gotta do is we gotta grab our water bucket, we gotta come in from the top, and you wanna place water all over the stone blocks that we just placed. You're gonna wanna make sure that everything all adds up, there's no leaking, there's nothing falling out of the build, or anything like that. Once that's done, what we're gonna do is, is the stone that we just placed, you're gonna wanna break it all, and as you can see, everything should all line up nicely. Now, the reason that we can't actually place water on barrier blocks is because if we were to do that, the barrier block would actually react just like, say, stairs or a fence would. Whenever you place it, it's going to leak right through. So, just like this, as you can see, we got all the water filled in and everything looks nice. Okay, so now that we have all of that complete, we just got to do the interior. And for that, we're going to need some horn coral blocks, some fire coral blocks, some kelp, horn coral fan, a chest, sea pickles, tube coral blocks, some bubble coral fan, and a stone block. Because one thing we're gonna do to begin is we're actually gonna change the block up front. We're gonna break the barrier block right here. The water's gonna leak, but that's okay. We're just gonna place some stone, and then if you'd like, you can put the barrier block right back, which I will do right now. Then we're gonna actually work on the inside. So the first step that we're gonna do is, is we're gonna build this whole coral, uh, this whole coral reef right here. And what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna start off by going in through the top. We're gonna place two yellow coral blocks, followed by one poking out. Then what we're going to do is, is we're going to grab our red fire coral block. We're going to go across four. One, two, three, four. Once we're done that, we're actually going to come down one in the middle, just like this, followed by yellow uh, horn coral block at the bottom. And we're also going to move over one to the right. So you're going to see something similar to this right here. Once that's complete, we're going to grab our chest. We're going to place a double chest right here as so. And once that's done, we're actually going to grab our yellow coral fan and we're gonna place it right on top of this red block right here. Once that's finished, we're gonna grab our fire coral block once again, we're gonna place it right beside the fan. We're then gonna grab some kelp and we're gonna double place it just like this. And then we're also gonna place a single one on this yellow block right here. 
We're then going to grab our tube coral, and we're going to align this with the chest, and we're going to create a little L shape. So we're going to go one, two, three, just like this, followed by some bubble coral in the corner. And then we're once again going to grab our, our horn coral, and we're going to place it straight on right here. So this should be kind of the shape that you're getting. Once all that's complete, what we're going to finally do to finish things off, we're going to grab our sea pickles, and we're going to double it up right here in front of the chest. So now before we actually finish everything off, we're going to make a small correction. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to go back to where we placed our bubble coral fan and our horn coral fan, and we just have to reverse the order in which we put them. So we're going to grab the, the purple one, we're going to place it on the left, breaking the one on the right, and then with the yellow we're going to do the opposite. We're going to place one on the right, break the one on the left. There we go. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to put the mobs in. But if you guys are actually doing something similar to what I'm doing and you're just displaying these, you actually have to put a barrier wall up between the drowned and the puffer fish. And the reason for this is because the puffer fish, whenever the drowned gets close, they'll actually poison him, which will result in him killing them off. So what we're going to do is, is we're just going to grab our barrier blocks and we're going to come down to where we place this kelp right here. We're going to go down to where the stone is and we're just going to build a wall like this. And you're going to want it to align with the wall that you built earlier. Now what we're going to do is, is to make sure nobody can squeeze through, we're going to place one barrier block on top of the yellow coral fan, followed by one on the right, just blocking it off like this. Then what we're going to want to do is, is similar to what we did with these, we're going to want them to go all the way up to the wall, that way nobody can get over or under. Now with this block right here, what you're actually going to want to do is, is you're going to want to grab a water bucket. And with this water bucket, you can actually correct it so it doesn't actually look like moving water. Just like that. And everything's complete. Okay, so now with the build actually done comes the fun part, adding the mobs. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a quick anvil, we're going to place it on any block you'd like, and we're just going to open it up, and we're going to use a name tag. You can name the mobs whatever you like, everyone can have individual unique names if you'd like, but for me, I'm just going to name them number two, because it's the second build we do in this series. So I'm going to build that, break the anvil, and then I'm going to grab my pufferfish spawn egg, and I'm just going to place them inside the build. So we got one, two, grab the name tag, and we can name them. That way there's no despawning. With the pufferfish in, I'm going to grab our drowned spawn egg, I'm going to come in this side, and I'm going to place them right here. Now the neat thing with drown is you can also try and spawn in unique ones that'll hold different things, such as tridents, fishing rods, etc. And you can see mine right here. I actually got lucky on the first try, I got a fishing rod. Alrighty guys, and just like that, the set is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know which set you like more so far. But anyway, until next time guys, peace.